You're very cute, Marley. I love you.
You know what I just realized? I have been unmuted this whole time. I just went to unmute and I saw it was unmuted. <laughs> Pro streamer. Pro streamer. Seriously. Man, I. Yeah. Yeah. What? Man. Man. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't say anything or play anything or do anything that could break copyright or well no because i was testing on the 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 sound because as we know sometimes my uh microphone doesn't oh hi okay i know i'm talking to myself but <laughs> scott <laughs> um no because as we know sometimes the uh the microphone it crackles and has issues. I had issues last night when I was hanging out with friends. Um, and so I, uh, I t did a quick test to make sure it was good and it was good. And I forgot to remute it. Oh, hi. You, well, yes, yes. So for those of you that are not aware, uh, Miss Elvain, my mod on duty, uh, sprained her finger and she has a, it is. It is still the moon. <sighs> Thanks, Miss Elvain. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, there, um, as she sprained her finger and she has a uh, split on her finger, so it's hard for her to type. All right, so working on... I got everything else. Look, so someone exclamation HQAL. I fixed the timer. I fixed the, the quill. Like, I did everything, apparently, except except for this, except for that. <sighs> yeah, and it's her index, yeah, the splint, yeah, it's her index finger too. And so she's wearing a splint so she doesn't uh, have any extra damage to it. So for those of you watching right now, uh, I have a poll in chat. Uh, if you are here live, which format do you prefer? Um, do you prefer the, let's just do the whole thing in one week, um, for the whole block, or do you like the, let's do half of it one week and half the other? Um, now I'm, I like both, honestly, I like doing it all in one week because it's super easy for me to edit. However, getting it all done in one week is a little tiring and I'm a little tired afterwards, but it's easy for me to edit, but I'm tired after. But I, and I'm like, kind of going back and forth, right? So it's, um, and I figured, you know what? Let's play around with the new live options that YouTube has for all of their live stuff. And one of the things is this poll. So it's at the very top. It actually just says one week. Um, so if you click on that, it'll open up the poll. Uh, and then you can vote on which one you like. So it's... Uh, yeah, it also depends on the block. Like tonight's gonna go fast. Um, the cat is a super easy, super fast block. It's it's gonna go fast. Uh, and yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least it wasn't the middle finger. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, I love that. That is absolutely amazing. That is that is that is fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. Who, who sent, who sent, oh no, okay, that's a going live from someone else. I'm like, did someone send me a message? No. Hi. So, uh, for those of you that are wondering, uh, we are getting our next foster this Saturday. However, it's going to be at a week and a half until you get to meet her because I'm leaving on Saturday. <laughs> I'm heading down to Maryland for KatsuCon. I'm so excited for KatsuCon. Um, I have never been. This will be my first time, and I have a lot of fabric that I'm going to be selling at KatsuCon. So very, very, very excited. Yes, someone <coughs> me, uh, reminded you to take the medicine and also start heating, switching from ice to heat on your finger. So yeah. Now the, I cannot wait to, uh, so on tomorrow's Twitch stream, I'm going to show you, uh, all about Miss Pretzel, uh, who is our next foster. Very excited. And don't forget this Sunday is the puppy bowl. 
It is my favorite live stream of the year. We're going to be streaming over on Twitch. Um, it is my favorite live stream of the year. We're going to watch the Puppy Bowl together. I'm going to have some surprises, some giveaways. I'm very excited for this. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be so much fun. Um, so if you join me over on Twitch, don't forget this Sunday, I'm going to start streaming about 1.30. Uh, Puppy Bowl starts about 2, and this is all Eastern time. Um, and yeah, we're going to we're gonna have some, some fun. All right. You ready to get started, Mr. Marley? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Mwah! He says, yes, please. Would you, would you, would you like a treat? He says, yes, I would like a treat, please, mom. This is, this is why I come here and I hang out and I do the things because I get the treats. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yes, puppies bowling. Yeah, it's um, uh, Texas Chihuahua Rescue, which is, of course, the, the rescue that I am a foster for, uh, does have a dog that's in the super that's going to be in the puppy bowl so I'm, I'm excited for that one yay all right so let's get started you want to stay in the chair mr marley okay you can stay in the chair uh, let's move the chair over to it. there we go so then the chair is not going to be in our way fantastic and then we've got this one You know what? I am going to angle this a touch. There we go. Nope, now it's on the end. It's a bit too much. There we are. I just realized it wasn't quite all the way to the end. And then... Okay, there's my head. All right, making sure, because as we know, I like to bend over and you see the top of my head and yes. Hello, Erica. How are you? I get, guys, I get to see, I get to see Erica in a week. She, she's going to help me set up for KatsuCon and I'm very excited. Okay. Whew. Now, let's get going. Oh, I need a pen or pencil. Okay, I've got my pen. Great. Okay. I know! I'm so excited. She, um, she, so Erica's going to be setting up, so if you're going to see me at KatsuCon, Erica's going to be the one setting up all the fabric. She's going to put all the fabric on, like, get, get all nice and organized, make it all cute. By the way, Erica, I got a third shelving unit, so we have even more space for fabrics. I'm excited. Okay. Oh, and by the, if you're just joining us now, there is a poll. Um, do you prefer these quilt blocks in a one week or a two week format so do we like a quick one you know one and a half one to one and a half hour stream twice you know for over two weeks or do we like the three hour three three and a half hour stream over one week so which one do you prefer for these blocks okay so don't forget to vote on that all right block five the cats uh, first thing we want to do, of course, is grab our fabrics. This one, we need three of them. We need our black fabric, we need a purple fabric, and we need our light yellow fabric. So I've grabbed all of those, and we are making this as part of the pixelated Halloween quilt along. So we want to skip this if we're making it as a standalone. We're going to go right here to the pixelated Halloween quilt along. Use the following strips from previous blocks and do not cut additional strips of them. We need a black two and a half inch strip. Now, I of course remember I like to double mine up so I have, two, I have one big one and then a little one here, but we always wanna mark one off. So we're gonna change this to, to a one because we've pulled one previous strip. So we wanna mark that off. Uh, okay, and then a black light yellow combined strip. Well, that's this right here. So I need to mark off one of the blacks and then the light yellow. Oh, well you see what's happened with that. I no longer need the light yellow, so I can pat set that one aside. So we only have two fabrics to cut. So let's cut those fabrics. Um, now I need one two and a half inch black strip, a one and a half, and then the purples. Okay, so let me do the purple 
first. Now we've, in this quilt along, we've gone through um, a couple of times about how to cut the strips, what to do with it, things like that. Uh, if you need a refresher, there is my, there it is. I couldn't find my ruler. If you need a refresher on how to cut strips uh, and do stuff like that, take a look at block number one. Uh, I have a whole section on how to cut strips, different options, different things. Um, so take a look at that video for this quilt along for block number one. And then it will go through a lot of that stuff. For today though, I'm just gonna move a little quickly when it comes to cutting the strips and cutting the pieces because this is something we've gone over a couple of times already. All right, we've did, oh, you know what I forgot? I forgot the one and a half inch strip. I cut the three two and a halves, but I forgot to cut the one one and a half. There we are, perfect, okay. We've got that. All right, so then now I can set this aside and then we need the black. Now I've already got one of the um, two and a halfs and one of the one and a halfs. So according to my new chart that I marked, I'm only cutting one of each, a two and a half and a one and a half inch strip. So let's go ahead and cut those. So two and a half and one and a half. And that's it. There we are. Perfect. Now, after we finish cutting our strips, the next step, we want to set aside all the one and a half inch strips. Well, that's really only these two because this is a super, super easy block. So we're gonna set those aside. Now we wanna cut our pieces. Now you notice how there's no yellow pieces that we're cutting at all. It's only the black and the purple. This is because there's only a single yellow spot and we're gonna be using that as part of the, the combines right here. If you are doing this as a standalone block, you do not wanna to have to cut an entire one and a half inch strip <clears throat> for just that yellow piece. So what you may want to do is cut a one and a half inch square of both a black and a yellow piece. And if you do that, you can skip cutting this, doing one of the black strips and of course the yellow strip. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're making this as a standalone, if you're not doing it as part of the quilt along. All right, so let's cut our pieces. So with the black, let's go ahead and grab this. Now, really quickly, I want to remind you that whenever I cut my black, whenever I cut my two and a half inch strips, I like to stack them. So let's go ahead and iron this, and then I'll iron the purple. And I'll show you what that means quickly before... I go to cut all the pieces. So I'll show you, I know I mentioned it uh, last week and a couple of times before, um, how you stack and cut multiples, but I'll actually show you this week in case you're interested in saving some time and cutting multiple pieces at once. Now we always, well I always, of course you don't have to do this, like to keep my strips folded so that I cut my, my pieces two at a time that's not something that, uh, that you have to do, which is something that I prefer to do. There we go. And that's all the ironing. So in the case of the purple one, whenever you're cutting multiple strips, you wanna lay your strip out just like that. I like to make sure when I'm laying it out that I follow along a line on my cutting mat. And that just makes it easier for lining it up. So let's see, I need to cut 12, 15, and 11. All right, so if I do this, if I stack two, one on top of the other, I am now cutting four pieces at a time. But wait, there's more. If I just take all three strips, 
and line them up, I can cut six pieces at a time. So in the case of the purple, I am cutting 12 of the four and a half. Well, there's six and 12. And just like that, I have all of my four and a half inch pieces cut. Whoops. Oops, where is my scissors? Scissors, scissors, it didn't quite go through all the way. There we go. Now, whenever that happens, if it doesn't quite go through all the way, don't rip it because what'll happen is you can pull the threads out of your fabric and cause damage to the actual fabric and then you couldn't use that piece, which is not a good thing. Okay, and then um, for the one and a half, so I need 11, so I'm just gonna cut 12. So there's six and 12 there we are let's make sure they're yep they're all separated now in the case of the two and a half inch squares i only need 15. so six so if i cut six 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 it's going to be a little it's going to be 18 and that's not that's going to be too many i don't want to do that so what i want to do let's see i'm cutting two and a half there's six and 12, and then I'm gonna take one of these away so that now I can cut 16. So now I have 16 and then I can take one away. Oh, I forgot to take one away from here because I only need 11, not 12. And there we are. I have all of my purple pieces cut and ready to go. Now with my black, I ha already have one that I have lined up and already started, but I still want to stack this. So how do I do that? Well, I wanna take the one that I just ironed and I'm going to layer this. So the you see how the fold is right here for the one that's already cut. I'm just gonna line this up on the left because that's where I'm going to start my cuts and I'm lining this up just to the right of where that cut piece has finished and I go through it all right and then I need eight four and a half so there's four eight and take those away and then I need three two and a half oh look I only have one that I've cut before. I really only need two more, but I need eight one and a half, so I'm gonna cut those first. So let's cut those four, eight, and then I can take this away, and I just have that single one that I'm gonna cut a two, a two and a half. There we are, and now, and then of course, here's the three I've had from before. All of my pieces are cut. And it is that simple and that fast. Uh, for those of you who are watching this video as a, um, as a standalone block, uh, this is the Stripology ruler. I absolutely love it. As you see, it makes things super, super fast for cutting. Links to it is are down below. All right, so that is page number one. Page one is finished. Let's go on to page number two. So using the one and a half inch strips, so the right sides together for each of the following combinations, a black to a purple, a black to a light yellow. Well, we already have the black to the light yellow, remember? So all I have to do is sew that black to that purple. So I'm gonna go ahead, speed up the video. We're gonna sew it. I'm gonna come back and show you how to iron those strips once you've sewn them. Uh, and then we can get those cutting on the uh, combined strips. Awesome. All right, so let's go to the close-up cam. All right, Mr. Marley, honey, I'm gonna have to, you never stay this long. I know, this one's super fast. This one is super fast. Oh my gosh, hi. <laughs> he just groaned. Oh, I love you, baby. I know, I love you very much. I do, I love you very, very much. All right, so far the poll is 60% of you like the one week format. 40% of you like the two week format. Um, and like I said, I, I, I really like the editing of the one week. 
it's tiring because it's a lot in a week. However, I like the editing. That's what I, I couldn't decide. So next month is also going to be a one week because I have to give a uh, guild presentation um, to a quilt guild. It's actually a Quilters Unlimited Quilt Guild. It's down in Virginia. Uh, I'm going to be doing an online presentation to them. So next month's going to be the one week format. And then starting in, what month is this? Starting in April, I'll either switch it to the one week format or I will uh, go back to the two week. Depending on what it is, right? You know what I just remembered? I forgot to contact my sewing machine guy to repair my other, my free motion quilting machine so that I can finish Erica's quilt. I still haven't done that. I still have not done that. Hello, Killieth. How are you today? Hi. Mwah. I know. I know, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. All right. Let's do that. And then go back over there and do the things. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to do that. And that's it for sewing strips this week. Now with this one, um, remember whenever we sew, we cut our strips in half, uh, this is um, step still step number two. Um, we wanna make sure we try to maximize this as much as possible. So I'm taking a look at my uh, salvages and I'm lining it up so the salvages line up. So you see how those salvages line up? Now that one doesn't quite line up, but that's okay. I wanna line up the salvage to salvage right there. So, and because I want to try to maximize as much fabric as I possibly can for ironing. All right, let's iron this. Now, the step number three, remember we wanna iron these in opposite directions. What that means is we wanna iron, iron one strip towards the black and iron the other strip towards the purple. I talk about this every week. Uh, whenever you're doing your ironing, there's a lot of um, quilting uh, beliefs out there about how you should iron things. Um, there's a lot of things that should be ironed open. And so because of that, a lot of quilters think that everything should always be ironed open. There's a, another one of iron towards the dark. And that's just so you can't see that darker fabric underneath the lighter fabric. Because if I have a black fabric and I have a white fabric, if I iron it open, you're gonna see that dark fabric behind on that light fabric. This is pixel quilting though. Pixel quilting is all about perfect points. And you get those perfect points by nesting seams. And that is why we need to iron these in opposite directions. So even if you're super used to ironing open or ironing towards the dark, in this case, for the pixel quilts, please, please, please alternate your seams and pay attention to those seams when you're laying it out. It really doesn't make a difference and it doesn't add any extra bulk to what you're doing because we want to nest the seams. Now this, for those of you that are new to pixel quilting, is nesting seams. So you see how, there it goes, you see how that, that fabric is going towards the purple and that fabric is going towards the black. Whenever you line those up perfectly, just like that, you're gonna get a perfect point every single time. And that's how it lines up. So we wanna go ahead and nest those seams for the cutting. So we've got this laid out. Okay, and let me go ahead and start cutting it. Now, for the black and the purple, I need three sets 
of my two and a half. So there's one, there's two, there's three, and then I need eight sets of my one and a half. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Now, do I have any left over on the end? Let's measure it. If I have at least an inch and a half, I do. I have at least an inch and a half left over on this, so I'm going to set mine aside. If you don't have at least an inch and a half left on yours, don't worry about it. It's perfectly okay. Just don't set it aside. So I'm going to take these and when I lay my pieces out, I like to separate them in two separate piles so that as I'm grabbing the pieces and laying the pieces out, um, it's easy for me to grab from the pile that I need. So do I need it to go towards the black or do I need to have it go towards the purple? So it all depends upon the side that I'm looking at. Okay. So, and let's take a look at the black and the yellow. Now, I only need one set because remember, I only need a single piece. So let's cut that single one set of the black and the yellow. Now, I'm not, I, I know I only need a single piece of this, but I'm gonna take both of those because honestly, I don't know which way I'm gonna need for the, for the seam to be pointing yet. I can set it aside after, it's not a problem. So I'm gonna take both of these and set these aside. And all of our pieces are cut out and we can move on to step number four. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break and have something to drink because my throat's starting to get the things. I know, right? I know, Scott, only the single strip, only this, it's, it's only the single stripping. I know, I know, not a lot of stripping, sorry. <laughs> and I also, right, right, gamers like perfect points. All right, let's go back and start laying our piece. I told you this week's going to be fast. I actually, depending upon how the evening goes, I may even edit, start editing this tonight because I leave on Saturday to head down to Maryland. Um, so if I start editing this tonight and I get it done tonight, between tonight and tomorrow, great. I can publish it on Tuesday. If I don't, well, I've got to wait two weeks <laughs> and I got to publish other things. So, all right, let's do this. All right, let's lay our pieces out. So I'm going to take this. I'm gonna set it aside. I actually, over here, I'm gonna have a sheet of paper that I'm going to do this. And I'm constantly laying this out and looking at the pieces so that we can see laying them out here. Um, and then I'm gonna take these pieces and I'm just gonna move them over here so I can see the pieces that are being laid out. There we are. I've got those, and then, yeah, I'm gonna put those up here, and that's it, that's it. For, there's not a lot of pieces, which is great. This is awesome. All right, so row number nine. All I'm doing is I'm taking the pieces I just cut, and I'm finding where they are on there, and laying them out. So I've got that, and then that one there, now this one right here, this is where we alternate the seams. So this piece I grabbed right here, it's going up towards the black. So the next piece I wanna make sure it goes down towards the purple because when I sew these together, I wanna make sure that I have that perfect point. So I'm gonna alternate those seams. So remember, alternating the seams is what gets us that perfect point every single time it is a uh it is it's actually pretty it, it's a, it, you may not get the very first quilt you make but the more you practice and the more you make you're gonna get those perfect points okay so now let's pin this our arrow for our row number nine goes to the right so that means i'm going to take that right piece i'm going to flip it over that left piece and i'm going to pin it in place 
what this does is I am saving time going from the sewing machine to the ironing board. So what that means is if I take that right piece over the left, as soon as I sew this and I iron it, I'm gonna iron it like this. And guess what? You see that seam right here? That's pointing to the right now. So it saves me that extra step and it makes sure that my seam is pointing correct every single time. I, uh, when I first started pixel quilting, uh, I, I started out like everyone else does with the one pixel, one block, and I cut out a ton of different squares. And of course my brain looked at that and went, that takes forever. I do not like this Sam I am. So I figured out, well, what is a more efficient way for me to create this? So it's not going to take me forever. And that's whenever I discovered this method of the chunking and I discovered the method of the pinning it and sewing it and then ironing it right away. And then row number eight, let's go ahead and quickly lay this one out. I don't believe there's any seams that we have to worry about in row number eight. Um, for alternating, I think everything is butting up against a solid piece and I am correct. Everything is a solid or if it's a combined piece, it's next to a solid. But row number eight, our arrow is pointing to the left. Because the arrow is going to the left, we want to take this left piece, flip it over that right piece and pin it in place. And then after I sew it, I can just immediately take it to the ironing board and iron it and yeah and and just have it be efficient and have it be nice now do i have any that it makes a difference i do not i do not have any vertical pieces where we have to worry about laying it out uh, and doing that. Now, normally for the previous blocks, I've just laid everything out and then I've gone back and I've pinned it. But tonight's block is so nice and quick and easy. This just makes perfect sense. Now, as I'm laying pieces out and I'm pinning them, so far rows eight and rows nine and row eight have super nice, simple, even numbers of pieces. Um, that's not going to always be the case. We may have an odd number of pieces. If you're laying this out as you're pinning it, if you have an odd number of pieces, then what you want to do is um, just leave that last one. You're going to have a, a, a little piece all by itself. That is perfectly okay because the next pass, the next time through, we'll make sure that we include that piece because it's okay to be alone and by yourself, but then sometimes you wanna be included. So we're gonna make sure that we include that piece that next time. So, okay, row seven is to the right, two, four, six, eight. Nope, that's an even, pe an even row, so I can't even show you there. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video. I'm gonna keep on going. Remember to, as you're laying those pieces out, follow the rows. Um, make sure that you're paying attention to the arrows so, and that's the way that you are pinning it. So it's just super easy to go to the sewing machine and then go to the ironing board and then, and then you have it. Yeah, so this is, um, that's the only thing that I realized whenever we were doing the two week format, I couldn't do it this way. I couldn't lay and pin each row like I'm used to doing. I had to lay them all out. And then the next week I had to then pin them all. All right, let's move these down. So this way, because it's the one week format, we can just do the whole thing, which is perfectly fine. So I know Sharon's already gone, but I hope she has a wonderful evening. She may go back and watch the rest of this whenever she gets home or later on, of course. Let's see, we've got that and that. Row number six is to the left. So it's left over right and pin it into place. So how is everyone tonight? We haven't had a chance to chat too much. 
now that we're going to chat for a bit, since I'm doing this, I, um, I've started to, um, I've been talking a lot to some of my friends about editing the retro gaming quilt along, because I know I've always wanted to have an edited version of that, because um, I really had no clue what I was doing when I did that two years ago, two and a half years ago. Uh, so I really have to edit it because there's a lot of like random stuff going on in the middle of all that. <laughs> but it is such a pain in the rear to edit it and I hate it so much because I thought like a live streamer. I did not think like a YouTuber. And so I didn't think about editing it. All right, that's going, oh, nope, it's fine. So I didn't think about, you know, having to edit it or making it easy to follow or easy to watch for anyone. All I thought about was, oh, great, we're doing this thing and I'm entertaining people and that's all that matters. So that now I've got to go back and edit this. It is a pain in the badonkadonk because yeah, it's, it's, so if you're ever interested in doing YouTube stuff, um, think about that. <laughs> think about how easy it's going to be to edit. Um, uh, work, yes, yes, of course you're working, Scott. Well, it's, what, three o'clock? Yeah, so, yeah, you're still on the clock. It's three o'clock there. Um, oh, Rosalind, before I forget, I'm in the midst of, um, packing up fabric, um, to bring down to add to the fabric that I had at MAGFest. Is there, other than the animals in space, because I'm still probably not going to bring that down, um, is there any fabric that I have in my studio that you would like me to bring down? Um, I'm bringing down all of the weave. Um, I'm bringing down the extra... Oh, I'm bringing down... Uh, uh, what's it called? The, the really cool ge purple and black geometric fabric stuff I have. Um, I've set aside the hedgehogs in hats. Hedgehogs and Christmas hats I'm going to bring down. Stuff like that. Is there anything that I didn't have that you think that A, I should bring down that cosplayers would want? Or B, um, that I should bring down because you want it? That, and then there, there, okay, and then towards the purple, got that, and that, that, and then there, and there, perfect. Yeah, see, it's not. It's really, it's really, really hard to take a live stream and make a YouTube video because it's two completely different audiences. It's two completely different styles. Um, if you're live streaming on YouTube, great, wonderful. Um, but if it's supposed to be a video that you watch back for informational purposes, like a tutorial, no. Yeah, you got you got to edit that. You got to make sure that it's in a format that that people can easily, easily watch. I've got that. Oh, hey, Miss Elvain, uh, can you do me a favor on my YouTube videos? I meant to add this to the list the other day, and I completely forgot. Can you add a tutorial for um, how to use? Um, how to use applique paper. Because I know I've got the video on applique and bling where I showed this is how you applique stuff, now this is how you bling it. But I the, the biggest thing that I've been asked is, well, just how do you use this applique paper stuff? And so I think I want to do a tutorial just on that. And I think that'll, that'll be super easy and nice. Because whenever we were looking through the stats of my videos the other day, I thought of that and then I forgot to write it down. And I didn't think about it just now. All right, towards the right. Oh, I lied. There is one that's going to the right. There's two of them. Welp. Okay. All right. St Tony, stop. St 
Stop. Thanks, Miss Elvain. I fibbed earlier when I said that I, I automatically did it for row three, for row four, and then I realized I do have it. So in rows four and in rows three, you have a combined piece um, that is a vertical piece. So make sure whenever you do that, pay attention to which way the arrow is going. Uh, this is for row three. And in this case, row three, the arrow is going to the right. So I'm going to make sure that I have this piece that's facing towards the right hand side, because that's important. Whenever we want to add our rows together, we want to nest those seams. Uh, so please keep that in mind. And I'm going to keep speeding up the video and then I'll come back and show you how to sew these. Okay. There we go. There we go. I've got that. And then there. And there. There. Oop, last black piece. Well, last black small piece, I should say. There. And there. And come on. There you go. My fingers couldn't lift it out. And there. All right. This is to the right. So right over left and pin it into place. Thank you so much for adding that. I appreciate that, Miss Elvain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I also, I need to do a, a training for our fosters in a few weeks on another topic. I did a training last month. Yeah, this is February. Last month. Um, on, um, uh, with our fosters, all about deaf dogs, um, and, and keys and cues, you know, different things that you can use in order to train the deaf dogs. Um, and so I, it's something I'm going to be doing once a month. It's not going to be open to the public, but if you're interested in any of the trainings, I can totally send you the links if you want to watch them. Um, but it's more for the rescue. So I don't want to make those public in case any of the guests that we bring on, they have questions or want to talk about it, um, get nervous, and they don't want it to be out in the public, right? So it's, you. anyone can view it, but you have to have the link kind of thing in order to view it. All right, I've got that. That reminds me, my, um, my parents uh, are part of a Basset Hound rescue. And they were fosters for many years. And so they had this one foster. It was a basset hound and he was deaf. And so the rescue named him Radar because he was a deaf basset hound. Get it? Get it, Ra Radar? Because he had to, he had, he had, he had to use his, his senses and, and something else because he couldn't hear. Couldn't, couldn't use his ears. All right. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. This is going to the left. So left. So left over right. And pin it into place. And then one more row. And off to sewing. Left over right. And pin it in two place. I think I'm doing pretty good today about not bending over in front of the camera. Oh, I almost forgot. So for those of you that um, are interested in the charity tattoos, um, I was supposed to have a um, tattoo appointment on Tuesday and I canceled it because I only need two hearts done. Um, and we haven't had any donations in order to um, to add, you know, for anyone to design any of the hearts. So I decided it would just have been the background stuff. So I decided, you know what, let's just wait and I will reschedule for June. And then that way it's after our next two charity events and someone may donate and, and want to design something. So I have got that. Because I am all cut up on those things. Okay, so this is row one, so it's to the right. So I'm going to take the right over left and pin it into place. Fantastic. 
So that is scheduled June, I don't know what day it is. Oh, again, mine goes all over the place. I bounce everywhere. Um, if you did not hear last Friday on Twitch, I announced our next charity event is uh, for Starlight. It's going to be starting on March the 10th for Mario Day. Anyone want to guess what March the 10th is? And I didn't realize this until this morning because I don't remember dates. So March the 10th is actually a pretty important date. Anyone, anyone want to guess what the, uh, other than Mario Day, what day is? After you lay out all of your pieces, uh, you'll notice you'll have these two pieces left. This is perfectly natural, perfectly fine. Just take these two pieces, set them aside for future blocks, and that's it. All right, so let's get sewing. Okay. And, oh, yeah, there we go, we got that. All right, Mr. Marley, you're, you're still, I know. Oh, you can't be in my lap for this part. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be doing a lot of moving back and forth. I know, so you can't, you can't be in my lap. I love you. All right. What? There you go. All right. Phew. Um, it's, it's my anniversary. And this year, it's my 10th year anniversary. So I'm going to be streaming. I'm going to be streaming and raising money on Mario Day for Starlight on 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 my 10th anniversary. <laughs> I know, right? You're a good boy. All right, with sewing, all I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be turning around. I'm going to be grabbing the row. And in this case, this is row number nine. And I'm going to sew the row. Now, whenever you're sewing it, I'm going to be doing a uh, scant quarter inch. If you're not sure what a scant quarter inch is, if you take a look down below in my videos, uh, you can uh, see what that is. Basically, it's just a, a way of making sure that your uh, pieces that you're sewing are more accurate for mathematics, for everything adding up, um, and, and that's really it. Now, I'm, like I said, sewing is the scant quarter inch. And then I am using my chain, my chain piece separator to separate my pieces. Now, once I've got these pieces in, I want to have something in my machine at all times. So I'm going to turn around. I'm going to grab row number eight. I'm going to put just that first piece in and then cut away row number nine. And then that way it's not combined and I'll have to figure out all of those pieces. Uh, and it's just, a lot easier just like that and that's how you sew them it's that simple so I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the video as I finish sewing these uh, and then we'll come back and I'll show you how to iron them eh, I don't know if it's an oops we, we honestly it's it's one of those things where my husband and I we don't we don't celebrate things like that it's like it's whatever. So we, uh, it's, it's not a big deal for us. So whenever we, for previous years, previous years, sometimes we'll completely forget until Facebook reminds us. And then we'll just go, eh, happy anniversary. We don't get each other gifts. Like we don't really get each other gifts for, for, uh, for, for holidays, birthdays, stuff like that it's just it's just another day like where you, you're if you're supposed in my opinion with a relationship if you have to rely on a single day to show someone how much you you care about them and how much you appreciate them it may not be the greatest relationship but celebrating those dates are perfectly fine but to us it's just another day and it's just like yeah, no, our, we've got a fantastic relationship. So yeah, yeah, exactly. Like it doesn't, I do not care. I remember my ex-husband used to get so mad at me that I would forget stuff. 
I and I'd be like, oh, it's not. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Like I, a, a certain date doesn't make a difference. But I realized I was like, hey, technically now, I have been in the longest relationship that I have ever been in. I have now officially been in, in the longest relationship. It's uh, it's interesting, huh? <laughs> but yeah, no, it's it's. So I I told him that this morning, and I said, hey, so uh, because it's our anniversary, do you want to help me with the charity stream? And he said, nope. I'm like, come on. I was like, you don't want to do anything, like maybe put a reward up of if someone donates a certain amount, you come down and tell a story about um, about a stupid thing that I've done, or you come down and you make fun of me. He goes, well, I do that anyways. I was like, yeah, but you don't do it on my stream. He goes, oh, I don't want to. I'm like, all right, fine, fine, whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep on him, though. I'm going to keep on him. See, that's, see, Scott, I don't, I don't get that. I don't understand that. Like, whenever you build up things in your mind and you set such high expectations like that, you're just setting yourself up for failure. Like, you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. Like, why, why would you put someone else under such restraint like that I don't know I don't know right and there's there's people around me that do that as well and I'm like I don't know I don't get it or the relationships where one person's expected to do something all the time for another person and the other person never shows appreciation for it um and when that thing doesn't happen they get all mad like an expectation thing. It's like, yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah, the knowing your husband longer than you haven't known him. That's yeah, that's weird. I haven't gotten to that point yet because second marriage and I'm old. <laughs> it's I'm sure what, and I, I actually, this morning I, I, when I realized this, I told him this and, and I said, you realize, you're my longest relationship. That's weird. He goes, no, it's not weird. I was like, it's weird to me. Like, it's totally weird to me. Like, it's just the thought of the fact that this is the longest relationship I've ever had. Yeah, you're an old married couple, yeah. Oh, uh, before I forget, Miss Elvain, I, it is not, it's not looking good for a press pass for PAX, so I don't think, unfortunately, I'm probably going to be going to PAX East. Um, I mean, I, I'm not going to cancel the hotel room until, like, right before, because I've got free cancellation. However, unfortunately, I, I'm not going to get my hopes up, because I don't know if I'm going to get that press pass. I don't, does anyone know, I know they've started giving out press passes. Um, does anyone know when the cutoff of when they stop giving out those press passes? Like at what point should I be like, eh, I'm not gonna get it? I know, I know. I just, I can't afford to buy a pass kind of thing, right? Yeah, what I may do, because I never got a confirmation of a submission for the press pass. So what I may do is someone else that I know that just submitted for their press pass, I mean, I'm going to message them and be like, hey, did, did you, after you submitted it, did you get a, an email confirmation of, hey, we've received your thing or... Yeah. I know. It's... It's, it, it would be nice to go to a convention where I'm not working, is all. I have never done that. I have never in my life just gone 
and enjoyed a convention. The very first convention? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty expensive. I've, uh, I've only ever gone to a convention to work. Like, my very first convention was the Baltimore Comic Con, and that's when I had an artist table. It was my first convention. I had no clue what to expect. That's just the way that I've been. Is everything is all about work and getting stuff done. All right. Got that. And... Clear that. There's 60 a day. Yeah, see that in addition to the hotel, I think, it, you know what? I, I shouldn't just say no. I should, I should wait and see how uh, KatsuCon goes. If I have a KatsuCon, like uh Like a Dragon Con, I still may consider it. All right, then I gotta switch camera. Okay. Oh, uh, let's switch the camera around. I don't need that anymore. All right. So let's iron it. So taking row number nine, I'm gonna lay this out one at a time. And the first thing I'm gonna do is lock those seams in. So I'm gonna sew those seams just to make sure those get locked in. And what that does is it makes sure whenever you iron it like this, there's less chance that you're gonna stretch it it's gonna keep that seam a little straighter um, and you're not gonna have to worry about stretching those out. Um, now, you notice how the first thing I do is I do that and then I put it down. I'm not going straight up until I've already done that. All right, so that's all I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to um, iron all of the rows and then I'll come back and I will show you how to pin the second pass of the rows because there's a little as a trick to it because we have remember those forgotten pieces those leftover pieces on the end so I'll show you how we pin those after I finish ironing everything so I'm going to speed up the video okay so this is to the right all right my husband needs to know if he can move around so let me text him go ahead Um, and then eight, two, three, four. Yeah, I know the, so, okay, so the application's still up. Okay. I, I believe I filled it all out a few months ago when it first went up. I don't remember. So I'll, I'll message people and I'll ask them. I said, hey, um, I, I think I did this thing. I don't remember though. Should I fill another one out? Maybe I should just fill another one out just in case, because I don't remember if I did it, because I didn't get a confirmation. Um, and this is to the left. You know what? I'm just, yeah, I'm just gonna fill another one out. Because I do, I remember filling it out though. Oh, that's weird. Wait, you can't read? Well, you can't read your pattern? That's funny. Why can't you read your pattern? Are you just tired? I told him he can get up and move. I don't hear him though. He's 
he's playing through the um um the new Mass Effect, that Mass Effect, the Mass Effect that was remastered. So, you know, the new Mass Effect on the PlayStation, the new PlayStation, that's just basically the, the remastered old one. He's playing through that one. Okay, one, two, three, four. This is to the left. Oh, you know what? I'm reversing them. Oh, I hear him now. There, there. There, there. Yeah, uh, right? Right? Oh, yeah. You don't think that that would, if I email them, that they would be like, don't bother me? Two. Yeah, I'll look at it. I'll see if there's an email for the press passes. If there's not, then I may just like put another one in. I'll, I'll take a look at it after stream. So after stream, I'll take a look at possibly um, there we go. Possibly editing some of the video. And then I'll look at the press pass for PAX East as well. Five. And this is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five to the right. There we are. Oh, thanks. Oh, it's literally, okay, well, fine then, thanks. Thanks, Miss Alvain, and this is why I need you. One day when I am independently wealthy, uh, you can quit your job and, and I will just have you work for me full time. Sounds like a great idea, everyone, right? She could just be a professional Tony Wrangler full time. Two, three, four, five. And this is the fourth row, so this goes to the left. Okay. Right. Yeah, I, I would I would absolutely love to have a personal assistant. It'd be so nice. Be like, hey, can you go do this? Can you go do that? Call this person and do this thing. time did we finish last week was it after eight o'clock yes i think it was like what eight fifteen, eight twenty. by the time i finished the um i filmed the intro outro okay and this is two so this goes to the left Okay. 
right. And there, and this is the right. Perfect. Great. Right? Yeah, just to, just to have someone call and make appointments would be perfect. All right, so let's find one, two, three, four. I need to find one with an odd number. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, three, four. So help me if they're all even. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Okay, so this is row number five. Okay, so row number five. What? Calling people for me and making appointments? You wouldn't do that for me, Miss Sylvan? All right, Mike, you ready for me to uh, give instruction again? Okay, I'll message you when, I, when I'm, uh, when you can make noise again. All right, second pass. Uh, oh, crap. You know what I just realized? I forgot to hit start recording. I'm going to have to download this afterwards, but that's okay. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Second pass. Now, all from nine, eight, seven, and six, those rows have an even number, so it's not going to be a big deal. Row number five, though, has an odd number of pieces. So row number five is, let's see, there, two, three, four, let me actually move this so I can make sure that I'm doing this correctly. Yep, yep, yep. That's looking good so far. Yep, row number five looks good. Uh, row number five has five pieces. So what I need to do now, because I have an odd number of pieces, is I'm going to take this first piece and set it aside. So instead of leaving off that last piece, I'm going to leave off that first piece and, and that's it. And then, and then go ahead and pin the rest of those together. So in this case, the arrow is going to the right. So I'm going to go right over left and pin that into place. And that's it. So I've already shown you about the arrows. I've shown you how to, um, to lay these out. Uh, so at this point, just go ahead and pin all your pieces together. Um, after I pin these together, I'm going to go ahead and sew them, iron them, and I'll come back and I will show you what to do for the last pat, the third and final pass for this block. Okay. Sweet. Thanks. Okay. All right. So row number nine is there, 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 and there. And this is going to the right, right over left, and pin it into place. <laughs> oh, come on, Miss Elvain. If you're getting paid for it. Now, in all, in all fairness, I never really talk on the phone. Whenever, whenever quilt guilds contact me to, to, uh, to lecture and speak, I'm like, can we just do it all by email? Please. Um, can we just, just, just do it by email? Just email? Email, please? Please, please? Okay, this is going to the left. Left over right. Because there's really, um, there's not a lot of reason to talk on the phone anymore. Like yesterday, so I was hanging out um, last night with, um, with my friend Courtney. For those of you on Twitch, you'll know her as Patrick Pirate. Um, she was talking about how she has to find a new dentist because she's moved. 
And so she was online and she found a dentist that allows you for online booking so you don't have to pick up the phone. And she goes, whoop, it's my dentist. This is now my new dentist because of that convenience factor. Like, and for me, I don't even have my phone number published anywhere. Like, if you want to call me at all for the, um, for the Quiltoni business or store or anything else, my phone number's not out there. You can't call me. You gotta email me. It's just easier that way. Especially with how much I travel, too. Like, I I'm not gonna answer the phone if I'm traveling. Like, there's just, there's no point. Why? Like, why would they call you at 8.45 in the mor- No, that's way too early. That is way, way too early. Okay, this is to the left. So, left over right. Yeah, I know. Oh, that's right, because she made it for today. Because she was like, she's like, oh, yeah, oh, hey, they have an opening for tomorrow. I'm going to go in tomorrow. And then row number four is to the left. Okay, there, 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 and there. Oh, and there. I forgot that last piece. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is going to the left, left over right. Nice. Good. I'm very happy that you're seeing a cardio. Yeah, no, no. 7.45 in the morning, no. No. I, I'm sorry. I get up early because of the dogs. But you do not want to see me before I've had my, and before I've had my cup of coffee and I've had a bite to eat. I, Miss Elvain has seen me in the morning, for in the morning, very first thing, early morning. You do not want to see that. It is not a great picture. Okay, and then row number three. Great, and this is to the right. So right over left. And pin it into place. There we go. Right over left and pin it into place. And then row number two. There, there, and there. Okay, to the left, left over right, and pin it into place. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, no, no, no. 7.45 is just way too freaking early. No. No, no. I agree. I completely agree with that one. Left over right. Okay, and then last but not least, row number one. There, 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 and there. So this is to the right, right over left. Oh, hey, I only had one that had an odd number. <laughs> All right, so over, under, over, under. What time do you think we're going to finish tonight? What's the, uh, what's the over, under on this? What, give me your guesses. There we 
Alright. All right. You think eight? You think eight on the dot? That reminds me, I gotta make my appointment for my doctor for my fit for my uh checkup, my yearly checkup. Considering we haven't I haven't done it in like four years. I at least was able to get my women's checkup done last year. And I got my, um, I have um, a history of melanoma in my family. So I at least got that checkup as well. So. Just my standard doctor though. Yeah, I'm overdue for that. I gotta do that. I bet you're gonna be done when you're done. Thanks. That's that's a really fun guess. Thanks. Um, and if you're hanging out, if you haven't, if you're just lurking, if you haven't had a chance to vote in the poll, um, we do have a poll going on. Do you like the one week or the two week formats for YouTube? So do you like this, um, where we do the whole thing in a single stream? Or do you like the splitting it up over two weeks? So make sure you vote for which one you like. Um, now, just because if we do it in a single week doesn't mean we're not going to stream YouTube live stuff. I've got other tutorials and other things that I can film. So, you know, the only time I'm not going to film on Thursdays for YouTube live is if I'm on the road. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, exactly. Like sometimes you have to check all the things out. You gotta check under the hood. Gonna make sure everything's working. Luckily, I hopefully got all my issues out when I was a kid. Uh, hopefully I got my issues out right away. And I don't have too many issues as I grow older. I had a lot of issues as a kid. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with a lot of my um, health history, I was in and out of the hospital from the time I was born until... I was in the hospital when I was 17, but that was something completely different. I'd say 10 is when they finally had everything under control. So yeah, so the first 10 years of my life, I was in and out of the hospital all the time. Which is why I'm a huge proponent for St. Jude and for um, Starlight. And for Starlight. I am a huge proponent for St. Jude and Starlight. Because being in the hospital as a kid sucks. Well, there you go. Hopefully you learned your lesson then, Scott. Hopefully you learned your lesson. And you keep up on things. And you manage things. Kind of like someone else I know with the heating system and changing uh, filters. You, you got to keep the system up. You have to manage it. Make sure. Kind of like oil changes in your cars. Your your body is like a car. You got you to gotta keep up the oil changes. You got to make sure everything runs smoothly.
Did you guys not... No one told me I forgot to change the camera! Oops. Thanks! <gasps> Scott's working. He gets a pass. Too bad this does the um you can't change the camera yourself whenever uh on YouTube. On Twitch, I do that I used to do that a lot. And so I actually start I actually installed a program so that my mods could change the camera if I forget to change it. Thanks, Miss Elvain. I appreciate you. <laughs> Whoops. Well, I guess that's going to be an edit. Okay, and this is to the right. It's okay. I still love you. Was just thinking about so I was just thinking about Katsukon. One, two, three, four, five to the right. Okay. I just realized I don't think Nicole has met Andy and BJ before. So next week is gonna be the first time that Nicole's met BJ. No. Maybe no, because she doesn't she didn't go out with me drinking and stuff at like awesome con and stuff i don't know if she's ever actually met him she might have though now that i'm thinking about it at awesome con back in the day oh i'm a dummy we do ren fest together of course she knows who he who they are god i'm a dummy He hasn't minioned for us when I've had Nicole with me. However, yes, she remembers, she knows them. One, two, three, to the right. I'm really looking forward to next week, can you tell? Because I am gonna see some people that I have not seen in years. I probably cannot hug them, but Two, three, four, five. Great. For the last pass, uh, and the, the third and final pass, um, if it has two pieces together, well, that one's super easy. All you have to do is pin those two pieces together. So just like this. Now, whenever, of course, whenever you have two seams coming together, I always like to pin those first and then pin those edges. Uh, but here's row number five. Row number five has got three pieces, just like that. Um, again, the same one I pointed out last time because I had five pieces. Now, with row number five, I have found when you have three pieces like this, it's actually easier and more efficient to pin 
it all at the same time. So you notice how I just pinned that left? Now I'm gonna flip that right over and I'm gonna pin the right side. I just find that if I doing this, it's a lot faster for sewing and for ironing. It's just a lot easier to do that. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm going to be pinning this last row and then I'm going to be uh, sewing and then ironing and then I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you how you sew your rows together for your block. Okay. All right. Just like that. Perfect. I think the biggest thing that I'm excited about for next week is that I get to see um, uh, my friends Brent and Sebastian. I have not, I've saw them at Dragon Con this year, but I didn't get to spend much time with them. We didn't do, I, we spent a sing, we spent that first night. Um, we had dinner, but that was it. So. I just, I like seeing my friends, right? I just haven't been able to do that. And with all of the um, safety precautions that I have been taking, I know it's still a risk. However, with the safety precautions, it lowers the risk immensely. There we are. Perfect. And then this is row number three. Okay, I've got that. Great. So before uh, I do this last pass, anything else going on tonight? Anything else you guys want to chat about, talk about? Uh, Miss Elvain, are you going to be around tonight to chat? Because if so, remind me. I want to tell you about my meeting this morning. See, and this is stuff, if she was... Um, if I could hire Miss Elvain full time, I would have made her go to that meeting. <laughs> and then if it was worth my while, then it would have gone. <laughs> I had them meet with me first, right? It would make me with her first and then me if it was worth the while. Okay. <laughs> I mean, because that's but that's what your job would be. Would be would be making would be doing that stuff for me. Don't you wow me, ma'am. What are now now you're thinking that maybe you like your, your regular job better than what I would make you do if you worked for me? <laughs> Like that didn't sound like a good sound. It wasn't. It was not a good sound. My thread broke. Oh. There we go. Do 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 do. There we go. Man, this block is quick. I mean, I. So, Nicole, whenever, um, whenever it was time to make this block. Nicole makes it and goes, wow, I forgot how quick and easy this block was going to be. It apparently took her half the time.
Yeah, sorry, you're fine. Uh, yes, I see him. Oh, right, I just saw the message from Novena's mom. Are you streaming? Yes, I am. Okay. But this is the, um, I'm speeding up this part of the video, so I'm cutting out all the sound. There we are. There. And then the last two. So we got a, um, a text from Navina's mom um, of a picture of treats that are training treats that are only a calorie. Because she apparently is playing the sad card of the, oh, I'm in so much pain. Please give me all the treats. Right, Marley? Such a good boy. You are. You're my good boy. You're my very good boy. I love you very much. I do. Oh. Mama's almost done, honey. Mike? Hey, Mike? Okay. Uh, text me when you're heading back, please. I don't know if you heard me. I'll just text him. There we go. All right. Perfect. And there. There we go. Oh. Okay. Let's do that. And this. And switch that. Great. This is to the left. Put this up here. Three. And this is to the right. One, two, three, four to the left. Here we are. And then five is to the right. One, two, three, four is the left. There we are. I almost flipped a row just now. And for those of you that are joining me live, um, I talked about a little bit earlier about the Starlight Charity Streams. Um, for Mario Day on March the 10th. I forgot to mention what it was. So basically what it is, um, is I'm gonna start streaming at one o'clock with two hours on the clock. And every time someone donates, it's gonna add time to the clock. And then I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna stream. Now Thursday, I've got a cutoff day because uh, I have to do a guild presentation. But, if there's still time on the clock, then I will stream again on Friday. If not, I'm taking Friday off. Uh, I'll stream again on Friday. Um, I'll start another time and then I'll keep going um, until the time runs out. Or if I get 
stopped, if I get tired and I have to stop streaming, then I will, there we go, then I will stream more on Saturday. And basically I'm going to keep going day after day after day until we run out of the clock. So it's a stream that never ends, asterisk. Anyway, oops, hold on. This is row number two, goes to the left. There we go, perfect. Th thanks, Jafia, thanks. Thanks, Jafia, for flipped pieces. Yes, thanks, thanks. Okay. Now let's add these rows together. So what we want to do is we want to take the bottom row and I'm going to flip it up over top of that row right above it. And what I'm doing is I'm looking. Thanks, Slay. Thanks for that bird. Thanks. All right, combining rows. So what I want to do is I want to take this bottom row and I'm going to flip it up over the row right above it. And I want to find where those seams nest. So you see here's the top, there's the bottom. So the very first one that nests together is right here. So I'm going to make sure that that seam right there is right up against each other. And I'm going to put a pin in there. Then I'm going to go down and I'm going to find the next place, which is right here, where that seams go together. You always want to match your seams up first. That's important. Match those seams up and then go back and fill in everything else. Um, now in this case, I can fill it there and there. And then I want to put a pin any time that I have a seam, whether it's on the top, whether it's on the bottom, it doesn't make a difference because whenever I'm sewing it, I don't want those seams to flip flop. I don't want them to flip the wrong way and get sewn in there because if they do, that's going to add extra bulk to my block. And that's not something that you want. If you have the top or the bottom that is larger than the other one, what you want to do is ease those seams. So pull the, um, the two pieces of fabric, put a pin in the center, pull, put a pin in the center, pull, and so on and so on. And what that does is it takes that extra bulk and it spreads it out among the entire row. So not just among that top or that bottom. Uh, and so you're not going to have like a big, uh, you know, a, a big area um, where you have um, a big bulk of fabric. Um, and then whenever you iron it and sew it, you can see that big bulk in there. Um, and that's it. So that's all I'm doing is I'm going to pin, sew, and iron all of my seams, um, all of my rows, not my seams, all my rows. And then I will come back after doing that uh, and we will have our big block reveal. That would have been funny if I would have sewn a row upside down for this. That's the nice thing about these blocks though, is it's really easy to see what the, um, if you flip a, a row wrong. Like whenever, you, especially when you lay it out like this, it's, it's pretty easy to see. It's not like whenever I'm making my patterns, um, I rush and I don't lay it out again and I don't pay attention. With these, I do. Oh, I forgot to mention it doesn't make a difference which way you iron the seams for the block. Do you think it matters? Do you think I should technically quote unquote stop, you know, stop the clock, stop what I'm doing, mention that, and then basically unspeed up the video, say that, and then speed it back up? Eh, that's like a n not very important thing because it really doesn't make a difference. And I mentioned it so many times in all the other blocks. All right, I've got that there. Let's go back. I 
and do the rest. Perfect. Put a caption. Eh, that sounds like work. That sounds like work. So yeah, so the Mario Day stuff should be fun. It was, I don't know which block I'm gonna start with. So far we have, um, Nicole's designed a, a star. What was the other thing she designed? We already have the mini Mario and we have the coins, which is what we used in the um, uh, retro gaming quilt along. So she used, she did a, We've got a star. Now, and of course I'll do these as standalone blocks. So it'll be easy. Oh, that's different. The math and the pattern is wrong. That sucks. That sucks. So I, like I said, I'm going to, um, And of course, I did that and broke my thread. Okay. Beautiful. There we go. There we go. I don't remember what it was. She did a star. That sucks. Yeah, that map doesn't work. I agree. Whoever wrote that pattern did not do a good job at that. Yeah, I hate it whenever people write patterns and it's like, like a big thing like that. Like it's one thing if there's a small mistake that you're gonna be like, oh yeah, I can figure this out. But if there's, if the math doesn't add up, is this a free pattern or a pattern you paid for? Hopefully you didn't pay for it.
Like, why is there no steam? Because it's out of water. There we go. Oh, much better. It was free. Okay, good. What are you making? Is that the, is that the baby Yodas? I'm going to need it in a bit. Okay. One. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. That's good. That is good. Oh, the, yeah, okay. It does the baby Yoda's. Yeah. Then there. You know, whenever I was finishing those rows at 7, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna be, I should be done by 7.30. Yeah, I always forget how long it takes to, uh, to sew rows together. <laughs> rows and borders. Every time. I don't know what it is. Yeah, you're right, it may be, may be closer to eight. There. So any, okay, I know I asked this earlier, but anything else going on that we should talk about before we finish the block? There. There. All right, so in the poll, it looks like 78% of you like the one week and then 22% um, of you like the two weeks. So you guys like the, the one week format better, huh? That's fine. I will, if you like the one week format better, then I can keep the one week format and then I can reach, I can change the, um, the website to reflect that. Here we go. And close up. Ooh, right? Like it's just I don't I don't know if it's a mental thing of the oh my gosh, I'm almost done, or it really does take that long. I love both of you goes. They're great. They're so nice. Especially like the, the strip ones. Like once you understand the technique, they're so easy.
like you you get 75% of the way through something. You're like, okay, no, nope, let's do something else. I'm finished with this. I'm done with this. I'm getting tired of this. Let's do something else. I may be the same way. I may be the same way on that. I totally, totally understand that. Look at the Kit Kat! Look at his Kit Kat! This is a Kit Kit Kat. I love my Kit Kat. House Panthers are the best! If you haven't yet seen it, I posted a, um, uh, a TikTok of my two House Panthers. Neither one understands how to retract their claws. And so when they play together, so we play together every morning with the two house panthers. Granite's not a, he likes to play, but not with the other cats. But the two of them will play together and it's so cute. So they'll sit and they'll play and they'll grab the thing, but they don't know how to retract their claws. And because they don't know how to retract their claws, they just, they basically sit and just play tug of war kind of thing. Like, like a back and forth, back and forth, back and forth kind of thing. Yeah, right? It's definitely easier to move a 12 by 12 than a whole quilt. You're absolutely correct on that, which is why I love the quilt as you go stuff. Are there any other quilting techniques or or, you know, types of quilting or things like that that I haven't done that people want other than how to, applique, how to use applique paper. And the only reason I thought of that is, um, hey, Erin, the only reason why I thought of the applique paper stuff is because um, there was someone that asked in Kitten's Discord, um, she wanted to make a felt hat, but wanted to use character fabric. So was asking if there's something else that she could use instead. And I'm like, well, just use Misty Fuse, which is basically a sheer... Um, kind of see-through thing um, and, and applique the fabric to the felt. And they were like, oh, cool. I didn't know you could do that. And I'm like, I need to make tutorials on that, on how to do that. Yeah, the Misty View stuff is super cool if you haven't seen it. It is a super, super sheer, sheer applique paper. Um, there's no paper on it at all. It literally is just the Misty Fuse. And all you, and there's no sticky side, paper side. All you do is for, for basically for attaching things together. Um, you don't draw on it like regular applique paper. You basically lay it down on your project and put, so if you have three layers, you have your bottom layer, you put the misty fuse, and then you put your top layer, and then you start um, doing your, um, your ironing to fuse it together. It's really cool.
um, Miss Elvain, can you check the list? Is easing the seams on there? I think it is. I still have to do a video on easing the seams. On how to ease seams kind of thing. There we go. How are you today, Erin? There we go. And oh, dang it! I didn't change the camera again. Easing the okay, it is awesome. Thanks. Cool, cool, cool. I was good and so that happened easing the seams yeah easing the seams is gonna be up next the the blue means I, I really really should do it And yes, if you don't use your seam ripper like this, you're doing it wrong. This is a much faster and more efficient way to seam rip. I have a video all about how to use your seam ripper. You may be surprised because apparently we're taught wrong. <sighs> Luckily, I know how to use it so it's fast. And if anyone would like that's watching live or watching the live rerun would like that video just go to my channel in the search bar on my channel type seam ripper and it will pop right up there we go and then flip just like that the pieces are out luckily it's just a block and not a whole quilt <laughs> like rob boss there we go. All right, let's do this again. That's what I get for going fast and getting all excited because I'm ending early and going, woo, I'm almost done. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, no, no, I'm not. I am not almost done. I am not. I was like, why are there so many seams? There shouldn't be so many seams in this. Because Tony was doing it wrong. There we go. Okay. Ha ha!
You know, I can't tell you, when I discovered the right way to use a seam ripper, how much time that has saved me. Because when you sit and you, you pick out those stitches one at a time, yeah. All right, back to that. There we go. Fantastic. As you see, I found my roller from last week. I couldn't find it. There we are. All right. Who's ready for the opening and closing? Uh. Oops. If I hit the mic, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, I hit it again. Mic check. Let's see, is that good? Is that good? Is that good? Uh, video filming. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, oh, let's move those over. It's bright. Move those over there. There we go. Oh, I think up a little. Yeah, let's go up a touch. There we go, perfect, okay. <sighs> okay, all right, tell me about work later. I reminded you. Okay, let's do this. Let's see how fast I can do it, if I can do it before my husband leaves for his uh, ball practice, ready? Unless he's already left, unless he dropped the kid off and left, I don't know. <sighs> oh wait, I gotta do the main beginning. This is five, block five. Hi, I'm Tony, and today, oh wait, hold on, let me do this. Start recording, there we go. And I got the recording for it. Hi, 
I'm Tony, and today we are doing block number five, the cat for the pixelated Halloween quilt along. I am loving this quilt along so much, and this block today is probably the easiest block of the entire quilt along. Um, it's a lot of fun, I love it, and I can't wait for you to see it. Okay, all right, and then ending. And that is block number five. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, wait, let's go this way. Hi, cutie. How are you, cutie? Hi. Can I just like pet you and love you? And I love this block so much. Th I, this is probably one of my favorite blocks of the entire quilt. I love it. Um, hope, hopefully you learned something today. Hopefully you learned how to make a, a, a cat block. Now remember, you don't have to do it black. Uh, you can change the color anything you want. You can do any cat that you want. It's just, it's a Halloween quilt. So, you know, you want to have a black cat. Plus I have two black cats. So I, I have a, a little fondness in my heart for them. Um, don't forget to like this video, follow my YouTube, as well as Twitter, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, Facebook, my Quite Nerdy Quilters Facebook group, uh, TikTok, all the things, and Twitch, where I stream live and you can act, interact with me. I also stream live here on YouTube. Uh, take a look at my social media on Mondays where I post my live schedule. So I will uh, see you around and thanks for being here. There we go. It is obsidian black. Woohoo! Hey, let's get, no, no, honey. No, I started streaming at 5.30. <laughs> no, I do my intro and my outro after I'm done making the block. So see, block is all done. Yeah! All right, hold on, let's do our, I, I'm not doing stupid faces for these. I'm just doing the, the block on its own. I, I've decided it's just better that way. So, hi, Leshki! How, how are you today? And that's it. That is, uh, that is strim today. So let's take a look at the calendar. Uh, let me message the child. Done and done. There we go. Uh, I know. I love you. I love you, Lesky. Um, so, oh, that's what I was doing. I was looking at my schedule. Uh, I will not be here next week. Uh, I will be... Oh, wrong camera. I'm like, why can I not see myself? Because it's this camera. Um, next week, I'm going to be at KatsuCon. Actually, next Thursday, I'm going to be loading in um, for KatsuCon. It's very excited about that. Oh, that's right. That's at 10 a.m. I was looking to see, look at my schedule to see what I'm doing. Uh, and then the following Thursday, the 24th, I don't know if I'm going to be here or not. Um, if I am, we'll stream. If not, we won't. And then on the 3rd, so is, so the 3rd of February, I will definitely be YouTube living. Um, we're going to be doing some tutorials that night. So I'll probably do the tutorial on how to use applique paper um, and the tutorial on how to ease the seams. So I'll do those two on the 3rd. So if you want to learn about those, if you want some input into them, um, Thursday the 3rd, we'll do that. Um, Thursday the 10th, I will not be streaming on YouTube Live because I have Mario Day that we're going to be raising money for Starlight over on Twitch. And then I've got a guild presentation that I'm doing for Quilters Unlimited in Virginia. Uh, and then the 17th, St. Patty's Day, we're going to be doing block number six. So if you want to be here, did I say February? I said February, didn't I? March, March, block number six is good. So March the 3rd, we're going to be doing the YouTube filming for the tutorials and March the 17th, we're going to be doing block number six. So mark your calendars. Um, don't forget tomorrow I'll be live on Twitch. Um, I will also be live this Sunday on Twitch starting at 1.30. Uh, we're, we're doing the puppy ball. I'm so excited. We're going to have so much fun. I cannot wait for puppy ball. Puppy ball! Uh, and yeah. Oh, really quickly. Hey, Erica. Um, 
uh, pop into voice chat tonight if you get a chance. I'm gonna check um, fabrics and see if there's any fabrics you want me to bring down for um, for KatsuCon. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm gonna get ed started on editing this video and I'll see you later. Bye guys.